In a previous video, we discussed how the cooperation of former Gambino crime family captain Michael Mikey Scars Di Leonardo put more mobsters behind bars than the infamous government witness Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano. Let's continue looking at which criminals Mikey Scars helped send to prison. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we are going to continue looking at all of the mobsters that were convicted as a result of Gambino captain Michael Di Leonardo becoming a government witness. For those who haven't seen the first video on this topic, I've added the link to the comments below. After Gambino captain Michael Di Leonardo was arrested on June 20th, 2002 on various racketeering charges, which included murder and extortion, around four months later, he would agree to become a government witness. After nearly a decade of cooperation, he was due to be sentenced for his crimes on September the 9th, 2011. Let's continue reviewing the government's official memorandum for Mikey Scars' sentencing, which included all of the trials that either Di Leonardo's information or his testimonies were used in, and the mobsters that were sentenced as a result. The legal document states, Di Leonardo's cooperation has helped to topple many of the Mafia's most powerful leaders, and has left the Gambino family scrambling to cover its losses and fill its leadership positions and other ranks. Few cooperating witnesses in the history of La Cosa Nostra have contributed more to the government's efforts to combat and eradicate organised crime. United States versus Michael Paradiso In 2006, Michael Di Leonardo provided the government with information on Gambino family captain Michael Mickey Boy Paradiso. Paradiso pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 50 months imprisonment. United States versus Anthony Anastasio and others. In 2009, Mikey Scars testified at the trial of Gambino soldier Anthony Anastasio. Di Leonardo provided testimony on Anastasio's membership and rank in the Gambino family, along with Anastasio's participation in the extortion of the owners of a Brooklyn bakery. Anastasio was convicted of racketeering conspiracy and extortion. He was sentenced to 30 months imprisonment. United States versus George Tachico. In 2007, Di Leonardo provided the government with information that led to Gambino captain George Tachico receiving a 16 month sentence for racketeering. Di Leonardo also provided information about Gambino family soldier Joseph Orlando. Orlando pled guilty to racketeering and was sentenced to 33 months imprisonment. United States versus Joseph Agate and others. In 2009, Mikey Scars testified at the trial of Gambino family soldier Charles Carniglia. Carniglia had been charged with racketeering conspiracy, which included murder, robbery, kidnapping, narcotics trafficking, and extortion. The government's document stated Di Leonardo testified about Carniglia's membership and rank in the Gambino family and his involvement in the 1990 murder of Gambino family soldier Louis de Bono, on the orders of Gambino family boss John J. Gotti. Carniglia was convicted of racketeering conspiracy, including four predicate acts of murder, including the de Bono murder, and seven other predicate acts, and sentenced to life imprisonment. De Leonardo also provided information on the crimes of powerful Gambino family mobster Nicholas Carrozzo. Before the trial began, Carrozzo had already pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy, including extortion and conspiracy to murder Robert Arena and Thomas Maranga in 1996. He was sentenced to 162 months imprisonment. Mikey Scars also provided information on Gambino family conciliary Joseph Jojo Carrozzo, brother of the aforementioned Nicholas. Jojo Carrozzo pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy, including construction industry extortions. He received a 46-month sentence. At this same trial, 
a further 24 mobsters were convicted. Michael De Leonardo provided information on all of them. These individuals were high-ranking Gambino family mobster Dominic Cefalu, who pled guilty to extortion and was sentenced to 24 months imprisonment. John Jackie D'Amico, Gambino captain who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 24 months imprisonment. Thomas Cacciopoli, a Gambino family captain who pled guilty to two counts of extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 36 months imprisonment. Leonard Di Maria, a Gambino family captain who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 63 months imprisonment. Frank Cali, a Gambino family acting captain who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. Angelo Ruggiero Jr., a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to conspiracy to commit murder in aid of racketeering and was sentenced to 84 months imprisonment. Vincent Gotti, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to attempted murder in aid of racketeering and was sentenced to 97 months imprisonment. Richard G. Gotti, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to attempted murder in aid of racketeering and was sentenced to 97 months imprisonment. William Scoto, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 27 months imprisonment. Vincent Dragonetti, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 37 months imprisonment. Jerome Brancato, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 15 months imprisonment. Mario Casarino, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to two counts of extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 27 months imprisonment. Robert Epifania, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. Louis Filippelli, a Gambino family soldier and acting captain who pled guilty to two counts of extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to five months imprisonment. Ernest Grillo, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 30 months imprisonment. Anthony Licata, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to 15 months imprisonment. Augustus Sclafani, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to extortion conspiracy and was sentenced to one year and one day's imprisonment. Joseph Chirico, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to money laundering conspiracy and was sentenced to five years probation. James Uteri, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and extortion and was sentenced to 33 months imprisonment. Joseph Scopo, a Gambino family soldier who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 21 months imprisonment. Vincent Di Conquilio, a Gambino family associate who pled guilty to loan shark and conspiracy and was sentenced to one year and one day's imprisonment. Russell Farisi, a Gambino family associate who pled guilty to loan shark and conspiracy and was sentenced to four months imprisonment. Richard Ranieri, a Gambino family associate who pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 21 months imprisonment. And Joseph Spanato, a Gambino family associate who pled guilty to mail fraud conspiracy and was sentenced to four months imprisonment. United States versus Edmund Boyle and others. Mikey Scars provided the government with information on three Gambino family associates. Edmund Boyle, Thomas Dono, and Letterio Di Carlo. Di Leonardo informed the authorities about the trio's involvement in the 1998 murder of Frank Heidel. Thomas Dono and Letterio Di Carlo pled guilty to conspiracy to murder Frank Heidel and both received 15 years imprisonment. At the 2010 trial of Edmund Boyle, Mikey Scars testified about Boyle's involvement in not just Frank Heidel's murder, but also the 1997 murder of Frank Parasol. Di Leonardo specifically testified that Edmund Boyle had shot Frank Heidel. Edmund Boyle was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment. 
United States versus Anthony Antico and United States versus John Giglio. In 2010, Di Leonardo testified at the racketeering trial of Genovese family captain Anthony Antico. Genovese captain Anthony Antico received a 108-month sentence for racketeering conspiracy and illegal gambling. Mikey Scars also testified about Genovese soldier John Giglio's involvement in extorting Gambino family associate Anthony Seferino. John Giglio pled guilty and was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. United States vs John A. Gotti Michael DeLeonardo testified again at another John A. Gotti trial in 2009. The 2005 and 2006 trials were covered in the previous video. DeLeonardo testified about Junior Gotti's participation in the attack on Curtis Sliwa, as well as construction extortion and loan sharking. Again, like the previous trials, the jury was hung and a mistrial declared. United States vs. John D'Amico and others Mikey Scars provided the authorities with information relevant to the indictment of Gambino captain John Jackie D'Amico and powerful Gambino crime family associate Joe Watts in connection with the 1989 murder of Fred Weiss. In 2010, John D'Amico pled guilty to conspiracy to assault Weiss in aid of racketeering and was sentenced to 36 months imprisonment. The following year, in 2011, Joe Watts pled guilty to conspiracy to murder Weiss and other charges. Watts was sentenced to 13 years. United States vs Daniel Marino and others Michael DeLeonardo provided information regarding high-ranking Gambino mobster Daniel Marino, specifically Marino's involvement in the conspiracy to murder Frank Heidel. Heidel was Marino's nephew on his wife's side. In 2010, Daniel Marino pled guilty to conspiracy to murder Heidel and was sentenced to 60 months imprisonment. Mikey Scars also provided information relating to Gambino family soldier Onofrio Modica. Modica was charged with his participation in various crimes, as outlined in the government's memorandum. It stated that Modica was involved in the 1987 murders of James Di Guglielmo and Richard Sbarra, and a 1992 attempt to tamper with the federal jury sitting on the trial of John J. Gotti, who was then boss of the Gambino family. In 2011, Modica pled guilty to his charges and was sentenced to 100 months imprisonment. United States vs Joseph Carrozzo and others Mikey Scars also provided information relevant to the indictment of Joseph Carrozzo, Gambino family consigliere, as well as high-ranking Gambino family mobster Bartolomeo, Bobby Glasses Venese, and Gambino captains Alphonse Trucchio and Louis Mastrangelo. All four would be convicted on racketeering charges. Over the course of the two videos, we identified the staggering amount of mobsters that Michael DiLeonardo helped convict, either by providing information or appearing in court to testify. The government were extremely pleased with Mikey Scars' cooperation. As noted in their memorandum, it reads, DiLeonardo's cooperation is a landmark in the history of organised crime. His information has contributed to the indictments and convictions of over 80 mobsters, including many of the most powerful leaders and members of the Gambino family and other mob families. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.